Hey everyone, this is Neil from the Ski Monster in Boston going over a couple snowboards for the 23-24 season. This is going to be a good couple boards to stack up against one another because they both live in Burton's Family Tree collection. Over here we have the Family Tree Hometown Hero. This is unchanged from last season and has been a board that's been in the Family Tree line for a few years now. It hasn't changed over the years construction-wise, just graphics. Um, and then next to me here is the Burton Grill Master, a new one to the Family Tree Collection. Both boards have some similarities on paper, um, but they definitely feel a little different on your feet. So we'll kind of get into those differences. With the Grill Master, the new board to the Family Tree Collection, you're getting a slightly directional shape with a big spoon shaped nose up front, camber underfoot, and then it all tapers back towards a narrower tail. This board flex wise is kind of right down the middle. It gives you a nice fluid feel. It's pretty smooth. It's not gonna be a super demanding snowboard. If you're someone that needs to step on the gas occasionally, it'll handle it. But it really just gives you a nice, consistent, predictable feel on snow. This will handle everything from a groomer day on the East Coast to a really good powder day. It's gonna be really fun in a variety of conditions, but is really suited for the rider that's just looking for a nice, easy going ride. The Hometown Hero has been a board that I've really liked over the past few seasons. It's a slightly directional board like the Grillmaster. The effective edge of the camber zone underfoot runs a little longer than the Grillmaster does. So a little bit less rocker in the nose and more camber underfoot allows it to grip in a little bit better. If you're making more aggressive carves on harder snow, it's gonna bite a little bit better than the Grillmaster can. In terms of stiffness, it's also kind of a medium flex, but what's a little different is you have a softer flex in between your feet and a slightly stiffer flex just outside of each foot. So that's going to let the board flex torsionally really well. That's helpful in tight trees, bumps, things like that. It also helps give the board a little bit more snap. But because you have those stiffer zones outside your feet, if you're on some hard pack snow moving faster, it feels really stable and solid. Um, this is going to be a more traditional shaped board. It's still slightly directional, but you can tell the nose and tail are a little bit more normal looking, if you will. If you're someone that's riding switch occasionally or taking some park laps, this is perfectly suited to that. This board's a little bit more directional looking and it'll feel that way on this. Overall, both boards absolutely crush a ton of different terrain. If you're looking for a more lively feel, the hometown hero does have a little bit more pop. Um, if you just want a nice fluid turning experience, the grill master is awesome. It'll deliver every time. Um, so you can't really go wrong based on your interests, your riding style, choose which way makes more sense, but both boards absolutely crush it. If you have any other questions, give us a call or you can make an appointment to see us in Boston.